Hi Virgo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for the 13th through the 19th of August. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid so you know it is what it is. If this feels like it's your reading then it is. If it feels like it's not your reading then it's not. Okay. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus because I concentrate on love. Okay. So these are typically love readings. We will see whatever comes up. This is for Virgo. My lovely Virgo. I love Virgo because, you know, I just do. It's an earth, I'm an earth sign, which you guys all, probably all know. Virgo is my rising, and I tend to uh, really get along well with Virgos. So, Oh, well. <laughs> the Ten of Swords reversed and the Nine of Swords reversed. And that's funny, I use this deck every day. It's funny that they come out together like this and reversed. Um, I mean, I use this deck all the time. You guys have seen that. Um, it's funny how they kind of got back in order. It's like, so things may be getting back in order for you. This is freedom, liberation, releasing, releasing stress, releasing anxiety, releasing guilt, feeling good. This is personal freedom. Letting go of stress. I mean, the stress should be like, really dissolving interesting letting it go freedom freedom I love it oh wish fulfillment it's a time of hope and inspiration peace peace of mind this is peace of mind Death reverse. It's like something was getting old. It was weighing you down. I think you're releasing it. If some of you could still be holding on with this being in reversed. Going through a transition right now. That's what's happening. You're going through it right now. Heaven sent. There's a lot of hope here. There's renewal. Freedom. I love it. I do. Making that clear decision to take action, to bring success to your life. Ooh, the Knight of Cups. The Hierophant. And the High Priestess. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so there's a lot of intuition going on here this week. Your intuition, your inner guide is really talking to you. So if you are receiving any messages, definitely pay attention because your psychic abilities are on uh, high, okay? Seriously, on high. Let me just get this focused in. Um, wow. So you guys have an inner knowing about you this week. You guys, you're, you're feeling, whatever you're feeling, uh, whatever you're thinking, you know, is, is really what it is. So don't, don't doubt yourself for a minute, not a minute, okay? Um, I feel like you guys have made a clear decision in regards to relationship, in regards to love. And because you've made that clear de decision, there is an offer, okay? This is, an, this is a relationship growth that could lead to commitment. So I feel like could be dealing with the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We have Taurus. We have, this could be a, a Pisces. Um, we have Aquarius. We have Scorpio. Um, either way, I feel like there's been a lack of wish fulfillment in one arena of your life, but it looks like you guys are freeing yourself or you have freed yourself from something that was destructive, you know, something that was very stressful. And because you've done that, you're receiving some sort of blessing. I mean, the star is a blessing. So I feel like, you know, for some of you, somebody could be headed in your direction and there's a lot of passion and a lot of love. Um, there is. This is very exciting. Okay. It is. It's very exciting. I think that there is probably, um, a renewal of some sort. There's a renewed hope. There's a renewed hope in love. 
and it, it's it's really great it is because there's a there's action being taken in regards to your growth in your relationship okay positive action it's exciting okay it's, it is really exciting and you know exactly what this is virgo whether it's you working on a commitment that you're in and it growing and getting better or a new one a new one coming in there is a there's absolutely an opportunity for those of you that are single to have a new offer come in there's 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 no doubt about it you might even already know this is happening maybe you feel it coming maybe you felt it coming maybe you manifested it i don't know but it looks like the universe or God or heaven or angels or whoever or somebody is giving you a blessing. And it could be coming right into your life. I mean, it's just super exciting. It really is. So, um, <clears throat> I was going to use some, I was going to clarify, but five cards came out. So we're just going to go like this, wherever I feel like putting them. I'm not even really going to look at these cards. This is the death upright now. So this is a transition. Somebody was holding on to something, you know, needing to release, like I said at the beginning. But now here the decision has been made to let go, to begin again, to start over, renew, release, transform. Somebody has a new beginning. Somebody has made a decision. They've set clear intentions. And now there's a new beginning. Ooh, there's a lot of abundance coming in. It's like there's there's a lot to celebrate because it feels like there's a lot of self-love, there's a lot of self-worth, and there's a lot of inner abundance here where life is good. Life really is good, right? And when you get to this point, that's when the Knight of Cups comes in. When you are when you when you get to the point where you're quite happy where you're at, you know, you're enjoying life, you're grateful for everything, that's when new offers come in. It's when the universe says, Okay. They're ready. We'll bring it. And so, yeah, action is being taken. Okay, so it feels as though somebody is headed in your direction, Virgo, or you're headed in somebody's. Okay, there's a coming together. There's a joining. It's kind of like opposites attract. Okay, I think that this is this is amazing. Okay, so there's there's some sort of forward movement that is bringing you victory and success. Oh my God. It's like you guys are headed in the right direction towards happiness super fast. It's like the truth is coming out. Clarity is coming. This is the sword of power, the sword of truth. This is also an awakening. So somebody, and this is, you are definitely going through some sort of awakening this week, or you have been, and it's like at its climax or something. I'm not sure. But there is a big, big wake-up call, a, a gift. I think there's a new beginning that is coming in, that is being given to you from above, that is going to clear th some things up for you in a very, very big way. Wow amazing i think that you guys have been discontent for in one commitment or one circumstance for too long and i think that because you guys make a clear decision of what you want there's a transition it transform it is this is this is transition this is transition and they you know one's reversed and, and one's upright that's a true transition so that's what's happened it's like there's been a lack of wish fulfillment in some situation some commitment that you were in okay whether it was a job or home or whatever this is, but I feel like the transition, I'm excited. You hear my voice? It's like full of it. I can't even believe this shit. I feel as though there's a, there's a new commitment on the way or something definitely very adventurous and, and exciting, okay, headed in your direction. And I think it's coming like right now, right away, it's coming, it's here because you guys have made a decision about freeing yourself from something there's liberation here it's releasing worry releasing guilt releasing hurt even there's a huge release up there with those first two cards the decision has made been made to let go there's no doubt about it and and whether that was internally or externally if you were holding on to something maybe you were single and still holding on for quite some time the release has happened that's what it looks like. Even if you're in a commitment now and you're still in that commitment and you were holding on to some notion, it's been released, okay? There's been a release of some sort that is, is bringing you some sort of healing. It's bringing you a blessing. 
So I do see that there's a blessing coming in. You're probably receiving some communication from somebody. Somebody is headed uh, towards you or you're headed to, towards them very, very quickly. There's a feeling of, of, of real victory and success here. It could be with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, somebody that is very confident, um, noble, uh, exciting, passionate, uh, creative. This person um, is a leader, has a lot of strength. So I feel like, you know, there's definitely an ability for a connection with, with somebody, somebody that is strong and noble. Um, and very sexy. So I feel as though, you know, it's what you deserve. I think you're getting what you deserve finally. Now, this could be any sign, but I was just going over this guy's traits. I think that you guys, you know, start to enjoy who you are and be grateful for everything. And all of a sudden, there's a new offer, like, knocking on your door. And, uh, yeah, it's exactly what you deserve. There'll be equal give and take, you know, it's like there, you won't, it won't be a one-sided relationship. You know, this person works hard to keep things alive. Okay. Um, I feel like well, now we have the judgment card next to the Hierophant. There's some, there's definitely an awakening here. There's an epiphany that allows you to release. There's a release. There's a release that brings you brings you something. Maybe you had to forgive a situation. You know, maybe you had to forgive a breakup, forgive a past commitment. And when you get to that point, you give up on it. There's this, there is. There, it's, like, it's like things kick right into gear really, really, really fast. I think you guys made the right judgment call if this is what you have done, okay? I feel as though... You know, karma is, is coming back to you in your favor. Good karma. I feel like there is some sort of secret that is about to be revealed. And maybe it's not, it's something that you've known was coming because this is a secret. This is a secret. Your inner guide told you that this would come when you released. And maybe you just had to release. You were, you were holding on to something that was dead for quite some time. And now that you have released it, there's a new opportunity. There really is. So it's like you may, yeah, you were reluctant. You were reluctant to let go for quite some time. But the, now I feel like probably somebody closed themselves off to you emotionally. You know, they weren't, they weren't emotionally available to you. Now you accept the truth. I mean, the truth is right here. The truth is, is that whoever this person is that you were held on to wasn't emotionally fulfilling to you. And therefore that brought no happiness to your life, no growth. And there was no wish fulfillment there. There was no hope in that situation. So you decide to go after, you make a decision to go after what you deserve. And now there is a lot of, of, of <laughs> trying to think of a, the right word, um, passion to be had. Okay, so this is the devil card. The devil is, is passion, it's lust, it's temptation, it's um, a strong bond between two people. So I feel as though there is a new connection that is undeniable, Virgo. That's what I think. And I feel as though, you know, this may be karma. It may be. I do believe that this is karma. But I do feel like it is something that... Allows you to truly, truly end... A difficult situation you know I think that you guys have been in a situation that was really affecting your well it was affecting your thoughts it was affecting your ability to be happy you know it was a it was affecting your wish fulfillment you guys were in a situation that was Lacking passion. It was lacking, oh, fulfillment, love, okay? It was. It was lacking love. I mean, it was, okay? And it felt like, I mean, you it, you were betraying yourself by staying in that situation, by holding on to it when you knew that it wasn't alive. And, and I think that you were tempted for quite some time to remove yourself from it, but couldn't for who knows what reason. Because we're all at different levels. 
but somebody has found the strength, okay? Somebody has found the strength to free themselves, to let go. That's what I see, you know? So I feel like it's an end of a difficult situation, and I feel as though now there is a new bond developing between you and somebody else. That's what I think this is. I think that you guys have found the strength to overcome some sort of sort of adversity and some sort of hurt, some sort of mental turmoil and go after what you want. I think you've made a decision to take charge, to take back control of your life with that chariot card. And because you do that, you because you find this is a card of mental strength and this is a card of mental strength. Because you find that mental strength, you are being blessed with something brand new that can lead to a lot of happiness and a lot of you know, equality and passion and victory and success. So I think there's a new offer and I think you know exactly what this is. I think you knew this was coming. I think you know what you have to do. I think you knew what you had to do. I think that you know who I'm talking about. I think that your psychic abilities, like I said, are on target at this time. So I do feel like there is some action being taken in your love life that is bringing somebody into your life. That's what I see. Because you have released. If, because I see a huge release here. For those of you that are still holding on, okay? Some people watching this are still holding on. Some of you are. Some people have not released. Some people have not transitioned. There is no wish fulfillment in that. You have to step out of your pride of rejection and release so the new opportunity can come in. There's no new beginning with death reversed. You have to release what doesn't serve you. You have to close the door. Nines are closed. You have to close the door that isn't no longer open to find this, this new offer for this new. And some people haven't closed it mentally because this is mental. It is. Some have. Okay, we have the contradiction here. Some have freed themselves. Some have not. So. But there is, there is lust. Okay, there's temptation. There's a, a desire to free yourself. Some have, some haven't. You will continue to struggle until you do, just so you know. You have to find the strength to do it. You do. You have, now we have nine of swords again, okay? You, some of you are still struggling mentally. Let it go. Drop it. Close the door that doesn't serve you. Find the strength to do that. Virgo, there's a new opportunity here for those of you that have released. It's coming right in, and there's, there's a lot of passion to be had. A lot. Could be the Leo. <laughs> Could be with any other sign. Could be with Cancer. Could be with any sign. Virgo. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you rom romance. Yes. Be positive because this is very positive. It really is. There's an opportunity that could be knocking on your door. Or are you knocking on theirs? I don't know. There's a lot of passion, excitement, and romance. With the Knight of Cups and the, and the Knight of Wands, there's passion and romance here. Are you ready? One more card. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. This person is not your usual type. That's what this card tells me. But it could really rock your world. Talk to you later.